G'day guys, it's Billy here from West Australia. Well guys, just a bit of an update. It's uh, the 6th of June today, 2020. And I just thought I'd show you my spider bite, what I've had for probably nearly six months guys. Previously in the video I mentioned that I had it for six, six months and that was about a month ago, but I worked it out. I've had this bite since around probably mid December 2019 and uh, just thought I'd give you some update guys so what I'm going to do right now is just apply some of this Novasone what the doctor prescribed me so I've only ever really applied this probably around probably seven times guys in six months but you know it just seems not to to be healing you know one minute it goes really really good for about a week and then all of a sudden it gets inflamed again I think what the problem is is obviously where it is on the heel of my boot it's getting irritated by when I'm walking with my socks certain shoes I wear and so forth so it's really really frustrating but you know it's like just since yesterday it's just getting inflamed again really really it's a pain guys it doesn't really hurt just really really itchy um, at times especially like when I'm wearing my shoes that irritates the wound and it's just not healing so I think this red mark here right there is where the original bite was and it's just spread down close to the heel of my, my um, foot it's really really frustrating unsure what that little mark is right there that could be normal or could be related to the bite I'm unsure but yep anyway guys so that's what it looks like at the moment nearly six months since I got bitten by a black spider unsure if it's a white tail spider or, or a common black widow spider as I said previously guys I do remember feeling the bite it felt like a I just assumed it was a grass seed stuck in my sock. So that's really, really common where I come from. Grass seeds getting stuck in your socks, prickles and so forth. And I do have a vague recollection of, recollection of uh, seeing the actual spider when I removed the sock. And I just, for some reason, I just took no notice of it. The, the spider was all curled up upside down. I just didn't bother looking at it. You know, I just thought it was a grass seed, but obviously it was a spider bite. I remember seeing the spider when I took off my sock, so the spider was inside my sock. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to apply some of this. So I thought I'd give you an update. Been a bit, a bit unmotivated lately. But, but anyway, I just don't want this to become ulcerated, guys. You know, turn into a big open saw. So obviously what I've done right there, guys, is way too much. I only need a little, little tiny bit of this stuff. So, sp sparingly. Even what I've got on my finger right there is too much, probably. And this stuff actually kind of burns after a little while. So yeah, it's not very attractive, guys, but, you know, it doesn't really hurt. It just um, kind of itches a lot, um, like a really irritating itch. And it's one of those itches that when you scratch it, it just feels so good. You just want to continue itching it. You know, you just want to continue scratching it. Because it just the, the, the itch just feels so good when you scratch it. Same with hot water. If I put hot water on that, guys, in the shower, the hot water just feels so, so good. And uh, so I've got to be very, very careful of itching it. And obviously putting hot water on it. Um, but yeah, like I say, hot water it feels really, really good on it. But obviously it's not good for the wound. And same goes with itching. And obviously when I'm sleeping at night, you know, I'm uh, irritating it accidentally by uh, scratching it with my other foot when I'm asleep without even realizing it 
and obviously just got to be careful of uh, getting it infected guys very very careful you know the last thing I want like I say is for this wound to turn into a huge ulcer like a big hole in your foot and losing my foot and it's been like I say fellas probably nearly six months since I've had this spider bite You can just see. So I'm pretty sure it was probably a white tail spider bite, guys. I have seen spiders in my house before, and white tail spiders in the bathroom and so forth. You know, it's pretty avoidable, guys, when you come in West, in Australia, in the country. They're bloody everywhere. These spiders. I never thought I'd get bitten by a spider, guys. I always thought that I'd get bitten by a deadly snake. But never ever thought I'd get bitten by a spider, and it happened. Alright, guys, so... So that's what it looks like, fellas. A white tail. Or a black widow spider bite. Not a red back spider bite. It was either a black widow... Or a white tail spider. But yep, like I say, guys, before I go, you know, it goes really, really good for a week or so. Then somehow the wound gets irritated, probably by my sock or my shoes. Or even like a bit of sand inside my sock. Could be a bit of sand or a bit of uh, dust or something. And that rubs against the wound and it just gets inflamed again. So... Anyway, that's what the doctor's given me, fellas. Nova sign. Another good thing to remove the itch, what I've been doing, is uh, using Savalon antiseptic cream. The Savalon seems to um, remove the itch. And the itch also feels like a burning itch as well. A burning itch. But anyway, guys, so I've got heaps of photos I've been taking since around... Um, December or January this year so I've got about probably 20 to 30 photos of the actual cycle of this wound healing and then becoming inflamed again so I'll do a video on that very very shortly guys and show you the actual blistering of the spider bite so there was two blisters and uh, yeah but it's really really frustrating fellas this spider bite real pain so just be very careful guys of spiders and uh, like I say, guys, the last thing I want is to lose my foot. I'm just very, very lucky, guys, that I eat healthy. I don't drink alcohol. And uh, the best thing I haven't done is literally playing with the wound, especially the blister, guys. I, the best thing I ever did was not squeezing the blister. There was two little blisters. You know, if I had to squeeze those blisters, guys, I definitely would have, you know, had a chance of losing my foot or a big hole and ulcer my foot becoming ulcerated so whatever you do if you ever get bitten by a spider or even insects and that guys just be very very wary of uh you know playing with the wound squeezing the pus out don't do that just let it heal by itself guys you know it's really really tempting to squeeze the, the wound <laughs> but just be very very careful fellas so one more close up so all of this area here, there, it's about the size of a 50 cent coin, a bit bigger than a 50 cent coin. And right there's a little tiny blister happening again. So anyway fellas, thanks for watching and I'll do an update, like a video soon with all the photos, okay? But anyway, I don't think this is going to heal for a while, be another month or two hopefully the sooner the better but sometimes these spider bites just don't never heal as well i've done a bit of research some spider bites just never ever heal all right guys thanks for watching and uh we'll chat soon see you fellas